Oh my god. Please don't tell me I just made a giant fabric caterpillar. Woof. Hello, what's up everyone? My name is Q. I'm a costume and fashion designer and welcome to Dress Code. So if you're new here, I do weekly uploads on thrift flipping projects, sewing DIYs and slow fashion tutorials. So if you're interested, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you every week with my creative content. Now let's talk about what we're going to do today. Well, the idea of today's video has been in my mind for quite a long time and it all started with this image over here. I saw this on Pinterest a few years ago and um, I absolutely love it. I just really love the layering, I love the texture. It's by the brand called Kenzel and it's from their 2018 spring and summer runway show and I don't think it'll be too difficult to recreate that look so today I'm going to make this Kenzel bandle ruffle top and if you're interested if you want to learn how to make it just keep on watching so grab some parchment paper and let's draft the pattern I like to draw my pattern starting with a straight line and another straight line perpendicular to it. My height is 5 feet 2 so in this case I will make my bundle about 4 inches wide. Then I will draw another line parallel to the first line we draw. Basically you want to create a rectangle. And the length of this rectangle is your bust circumference divided by 4. And then you will need the measurement between your bust points. So I figured the easiest way is to mark it on your measuring tape and fold your measuring tape by half and just use that to mark our point, which will be our bust point where we draw the dart from. And from this point, we draw another straight line to be the fold of our darts. Then mark one centimeter away from the straight line we just drew on the top line of our pattern. Repeat the same steps for the bottom dart, but instead of one centimeter here, I'm using one inch to be the distance away from the center line. Join these two dots with a bust point. Now let's mark our pattern. So on my right hand side will be the side where it's going to join our back pattern later on. And on the left hand side will be our center. As there will be two strings coming down from the center, so we need to create a pocket for it simply by extending the line further down to the left by 2 centimeters. And mark the middle line as well, this will be where we fold our pocket. And then we're just going to mark seam allowance all around this shape we just created. Here I'm using one centimeter seam allowance. After that, we just simply cut it out, including the darts part. And now I'm just going to take a piece of scrap paper and put it underneath, use some tape to tape it and mark seam allowance on the dart part. Repeat the same thing on the other side and our front pattern is done. Now let's draft our back pattern. You can use the front side pattern we just made as reference for the width and the length is our bust circumference divided by 4. Since there will be no closure on the back, we are just going to draft out half of the pattern and then use it on the fold. Then find the middle point of it and we're gonna make our back darts. Here I'm making my darts 3 inches long with 1.5 inches on each side. Mark your seam allowance and then cut it out. Now the pattern is all done, we just need to use it to cut out our fabric. Here I've got this beautiful green and blue shimmery chameleon type of fabric. It's different angle and different light. It changes its color and I think it will look beautiful with this design. Nowadays I always include seam allowance when I'm drafting my pattern because it would be easier for me to place it on the real fabric and save a lot more scraps. I just simply place them on the edge and try not to have any space in between patterns to minimize fabric waste. Here I'm just using a chalk to mark all the patterns and then cut it out. After this, I'll use this but turn it upside down so that the right sides are facing together to create the other side of the bundle. You will end up something like this and then just simply pin the darts part together and sew them along. And now let's cut our back piece because it's on the fold, let's fold our fabric. Wow, this pattern exactly fits my fabric. 
and I'm not creating any fabric waste. That's a very good thing. Don't forget to transfer the darts onto the fabric. Mark the points, draw the lines, fold it, pin it, and sew it. And now let's make our ruffles. I've folded my fabric a few times so it's easier to cut. Here I'm drawing a line 2 inches away from the edge and then I'm going to cut 2 sets of these strips. Join these 2 strips by the side, right side facing together to make them longer. And we need to create a rolled hem on one of the sides. Simply fold it twice and then sew it. But since I really want a narrow hem and I don't have a rolled hem footer, I'm just going to sew it slowly while I'm creating the rolled hem effects by my fingers as I go. Because this fabric just frays so much so I had to search the other side. And here is a quick tip if you want to create a gathering effect without a gathering foot. I realize you can simply adjust the tension on your machine to the maximum digit you have. Here I'm using a tension 9 on my machine and the stitches will come out all gathered and it's very even. So now the ruffles are done, I'm just gonna quickly sew the front and back pieces together right side facing each other. So after that, you will have something like this and now we just need to pin our ruffles to this fabric. I like to start from the bottom center and work my way all around it. Just make sure when you come across the corners, you use extra pins and you will want to pin the ruffles on the middle line we drew inside the pocket, which is the line 2 centimeters away from the edge in my case. Then you want to pin the ruffles all the way around this long fabric and then bring it to the sewing machine to sew it down. Oh my god, please don't tell me I just made a giant fabric caterpillar. But anyways, we're still gonna try it. I tried to find the show online, the exact same show, uh, and I think I found it, but it wasn't very clear, but I'm pretty sure they didn't have any back closure, like a zipper or button at the back, but there will be like two drawstrings coming down here. So I will probably use some hooks to like hook them together, like those front closure bras. But anyways, I'm just gonna try to, try to see if this works. I think it looks pretty good already. So after numerous minutes of me rubbing a giant fabric caterpillar around my boobies, I think I'm ready to move on. Now we just need to make the lining. It's very simple, you just need to repeat all the steps, how you made the front, and basically you will end up with the exact same piece but with the lining fabric. And then you will want to pin them right side together, make sure you sandwich the ruffles in between but pushing them inward so you don't see any ruffles coming out when you sew. And also don't forget to leave a hole where you can put your fingers in and grab the whole fabric and turn it inside out. On the side, since we're going to insert some drawstrings and that will create ruffles on its own, so the ruffles on the side, I simply just flatten them by breaking the thread we sew and then make the string with some strips that's about one and a half inches wide, sew them right side facing each other and then turn it out with my magic loop turner. This step is optional, but I like to finish my front look with some top stitching. And then we just need to sew the pocket we left by folding it inwards to create a loop for the drawstring to go in. Use some thread and needle to hand stitch it down. But make sure you're only stitching to the lining fabric and not the actual front fabric, otherwise it'll look quite hideous. After that, you just need to slide in your strip and sew it down. And sew some hooks on the top side and then we're done. In order to recreate the whole look on the runway, I tried the darkest lipstick I have. So, and then I'm going to wear a dress I made a month ago. This one that has like very big puff sleeves and I think it will look almost like the same vibe as the runway look because I think she's wearing like sort of oversized ruched big sleeve top underneath. I think the model in the runway photo also has something around the neck, like blue color, almost like a turtleneck and like with ruffles. I don't have that, but 
since I'm going with a completely different color scheme, I'm going to wear this vintage shirt that I have underneath because it had this like ruched ruffle neck detail. But to be honest, just for this look, I think I'm not a big fan of showing buttons in between this V neck. I'll probably switch this front to the back and see what happens. Oh god, so this is me trying to switch everything without actually removing them. Well, I hope there is nothing important showing, but like the bundle is at my, literally at my crotch. Well, there you go, I think it's much better. And then now I just have to bring up the bundle and I want to say voila, but this is not as smooth as I think. Oops. So basically you just hook it first and then you and then you pull the drawstring, tie a knot. <gasps> we got it! We've got this look. I think it's looking really cute. Oh my god, I love the what do you call the animal that changes its color like a lizard? I forgot the I forgot the word, but I'll put it here. Mm. <laughs> I think I look like that, but very cute. Um, also, it's, I'm just gonna complete my look with some ginkgo leaf earrings and just pair it with some naked lady socks. And last but not least, some good old trustworthy Birkenstock because apparently the models are wearing something with buckles. I think in overall, I quite nailed this silhouette. Probably I'm not using the same type of fabric, but I like mine in terms of the color, the shape. And let's finish this look with some completely necessary and totally not awkward amateur catwalk. <laughs> So that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys liked it. And just in case you forgot, my name is Q. I do weekly uploads here on YouTube on my channel Dress Code on thrift flips, transformations, low fashion DIY, and all that jazz. So if you're interested, stay tuned for my thrift haul video next week and hit the subscribe button and show me your little support. I'll really appreciate it. And if you're on Depop, don't forget to check out my Depop store where I post all my thrift finds and handmade original designs. So stay inspired. I'll see you guys next week and bye.